A few weeks ago, I left my narrowboat home, grabbed my little dog and set off on a two-month adventure across Europe with my mate Sandra and our really old fans. Not everything has gone to plan. However, if you want to watch two middle-aged women faffing about, then sit back, relax and pour yourselves a drink. So good morning everyone. Look at this for a spot to wake up to today. I am surrounded by mountains. There's a little town down there and it's called Tollox. But I parked here last night just on the ridge so I could overlook and it was just stunning. So me and Bonnie have been on some lovely walks. We've met a few hikers and as much as me and Sandra both love these out of way, amazing little park ups. Lots of people are saying, Heidi, you can't go to Spain without visiting this place. So I'll, I'll take you there now. We've also got to meet up with Sandra, but apparently it's a really steep route to get there. So let's hope the old van is up for a little bit of mountain climbing today. I'm in second and third gear all the way up this mountain. <laughs> oh God, and my van's overheating a little bit. She's not got to the hot stage, but she's uh, showing a little bit more movement. So I'll do a little bit more, I think, and then if it doesn't start cooling down, I'll have to pull over for a little bit. Yeah, she, she's struggling on these mountains. <laughs> so this is second gear, yeah, come on. I have to go into first. Oh. Go. Oh, shit. Bloody hell, she, she, she's struggling. So we're going down now. Don't be rude. And the van's gone normal temperature oh but them L's wow I can't believe this little van does it I mean she did struggle to be honest but she made it she's made it So after doing an epic mountain climb in the old van, we've made it here to Ronda and we've made it to this famous bridge. And this is actually the third and newest bridge that was ever built. And this was built in 1793 and the chasm down below, that huge gash, is 390 feet down and it's meant to carry a river. However, it's dried up. But the Gord Eleven River, if it wasn't so dried up, it would actually separate the city. So Ronda isn't just about bridges though, it's an absolutely stunning, gorgeous, quirky place. Loads of lovely looking buildings, cafes, bars, little shops. So let's have a little look round. And I'm sure that mountain over there, right in the distance, is what me and my little camper van came over today. Yeah, horrendous. <laughs> We're currently stood outside the bull ring in Ronda. Now this isn't the oldest bull ring, but it is the first to have been made completely in stone and you can do tours around it. You can find it easily by this statue of the rather well-endowed bull behind me. Yeah, that bull has got massive bullocks. So we've got our first ice cream of the, yeah. of the trip. I've gone for rum and raisin, obviously. Which one have you gone for? Oreo. 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 No. Well, rum and red cheers everyone <laughs> <laughs> So 
So we arrived in this location yesterday. We did want to stay in Ronda for a lot longer. However, we couldn't find a park up, so we decided to drive and then we have found ourselves here. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this place when we get going. So we're not 100% sure how it's pronounced. We think it's hookah or jizkah. We're not totally sure, but they call it Smurf Town. And the reason why it's called Smurf Town is because all the houses are blue. So Sandra, tell us why it's called Smurf Town. So this village was traditionally a white village of Andalusia, but it was painted blue to promote the Smurfs 3D movie in 2011 that was done by Sony. Afterwards, the villagers got together and had a meeting to decide whether to keep it blue or not. In the six months after it was painted blue, they got 95,000 tourists compared to the normal 9,000 they get. So they decided to keep it blue. And originally, 40,000 litres of paint were used to paint this town blue and it was last repainted in 2019. However, in 2017, Sony said that Smurf was a copyright term and they wanted 12% of the revenue that the tourism generated. At that point, the villagers had to decide whether to paint it back white or not. However, they loved it blue, so they kept it blue and dropped the name, although everybody unofficially still knows it as a Smurf town. But everything about this town is blue. And we've just had our faces painted, if you hadn't noticed. So it's not just all about walking around looking at blue houses and getting your face painted. There's also lots of quirky things to do, including a graffiti trail. There's actually loads of activities for the kids as well. There's climbing wall, there's a zip wire. And I believe in summer you can do a one euro tapas trail where you go around the restaurants and get tapas for one euro. And we looked for that, but we couldn't find it. And somebody did say to us, it's not open this time of year. So that's Smurf Town done, Jizkar or Yakar, we're not sure how it's pronounced. We're now going to head all the way back down the mountains, through the mountains, towards the coast again. Because the weather's warming up now, it'll be so nice to experience a bit of beach in the warmer weather. And Bonnie loves it, she loves going mental and running around on the beach. So that's where we're heading. I thought going to the coast would be downhill, but it's not. We're still climbing all these mountains. Oh, these vans are really struggling, bless them. It's not easy, but it is beautiful. So I've had to pull over because my van was overheating. It was at the H, the H. Can you hear the fan whirring? I've turned the engine off, but the fan's whirring, it's knackers off. Sandra's pulled up further down the hill down there. I can just see her. But we need to wait for these vans to cool down now. These hills, these mountains are very steep. We're in first and second gear all the way. So yeah, my van smells as well. Smells of burn, singe. God. Oh. 
but all this to get to the coast so unless you've got like a turbo diesel or a four-wheel drive then it, it's hard work and we've got very old vans god can you hear that fan we're in oh at least it's doing its job and cooling everything down <laughs> oh oh i mean this is not a place you want to break down trust me very beautiful though got myself a drink got a nice little lemon fanta yeah me and bonnie just had a little wee walk yeah. as i'm enjoying myself at least it's not raining is it <laughs> cheers everyone so after a 45 minute break we've set off again oh and this is one of the really good things about traveling in a convoy as a duo so you don't feel so bad, but if that had happened to me on my own, I probably would have proper shat myself. So hopefully now, no more big mountains. We'll see. So we've just parked up now and we're just on the outskirts of Marbella, a gorgeous little seaside location, isn't it? It is, yeah, very sandy. And then we're going to hopefully stay here tonight, but there is a Playboy Club just over there, so... So it yeah. could be an eventful evening. And we're having our first cocktail of the holiday. Woohoo! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> So it's a very windy day today. We left Marbella because the weather's just turned. We've been and filled up with diesel, gas. We're now at an air just outside Gibraltar to fill up with water and empty our toilets. And then we're gonna stay here, I think, for a few days because we wanna explore Gibraltar. So we've just done all the services now, empty toilet, filled up with water, wonderful. I've had to put big coat on and my woolly hat, but this is an air, it's 15 euros a night, but we're right by Gibraltar. So it means we've got a little base for a couple of days to go off and explore. And look at this for a small world. Just whilst I am exploring the marina, I bump into two fellow narrowboaters who have met in the past and they've got a sailboat in this marina and they invite us in for a coffee. Woohoo, I'm so excited about this. You are, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is our pirate boat, so, Dark Town. We're in the middle of kind of redoing the decks and stuff. This is a proper pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> so one leg underneath, bring the other one over. That's it. Come on, Sam, do your leg over. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. So we're going to have a talk now to Lynn and Phil and find out a little bit about how long they've been doing this, eh? We've been doing this now for about 10 years, sailing. Sailing. And we've, we've been living aboard up until 2020. And then because of Brexit, we've had to split our time between here and the UK and consequently we now have a narrowboat in the UK called Narrowboat Speedwell. But this, this is the boat that we love, this is our home, this is our pirate boat. Yay. <laughs> so having the best of both, having a narrowboat in the UK and this sailboat in Spain is just amazing. So I'm going to talk to Phil now and ask him about where he's been, where, where in the world has he been sailing? Uh, we've sailed uh, the west coast of Scotland, uh, we've sailed all of the Northern Irish coast. Yay! Uh, we've, so, we've sailed um, Brittany, yeah. Normandy, Portugal, Northern Spain, Southern Spain, Southern Spain, Balearics, Canaries, Cape Verdes, and the Caribbean. Have you met any real life pirates? Well, we've not met any pirates as such. We've met a lot of drug smugglers here in Algeciras Bay. And when we were over in the Caribbean, we used to get knocked every morning by boat boys who wanted to sell you anything from melons to illegal substances or uh, medication. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got enough medication? <laughs> 
And what sort of medication would that be? <laughs> that would be the smoking kind. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we always said no because you don't know the consequences of buying something like that. They could quite easily just go back to the police and, oh, that boat over there at anchor. <laughs> so where are you going to go next? What's your next adventure? Uh, in May, when our 90 days kicks in again, we hope to sail back to northern Spain, Galicia, which uh, we were there in 2017 and it's absolutely beautiful. It's the best sailing area I've come across. Uh, you know, uh, of all the places that we've sailed, that was my favourite, favourite place. Better than Barbados? Oh yes, yes, oh. very much so. The temperature's better, for somebody my age, the temperature's better in northern Spain. Well, you're only 23 like I am though, oh, aren't you? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is all dyed, this <laughs> uh. So there are narrowboats called Narrowboat Speedwell in the UK, which I've seen a few times on my adventures. So where are you going to go next on your narrowboat? Quite like to head south for a change. Yeah. Oh, the, the K&A. We didn't do the K&A last year. No, we didn't. So I was just talking to Lynn, asking her to show us how she steers this boat. Look at this. Hey! <laughs> That's Hands it. free for other things. That's how she pops the tiller. <laughs> It's good exercise as well. <laughs> it's your pelvic floor. Yeah. <laughs> so that over there is the Rock of Gibraltar, where yeah. we're going to be going tomorrow. They've just been telling us everything about it. Oh, it looks amazing. Beautiful. So it's been so lovely spending time with Phil and Lynn. Yeah. Been in a Very posh nice. marina. <laughs> <laughs> on a pirate boat <laughs> yeah we're going back now to our old vans oh, this is the posh side with the oh is that the posh side much bigger boat so. <laughs> your boat's ace well yeah quirky we like quirky yeah. and these all like quirky don't you guys <laughs> <laughs> So we've just got in now because Phil and Lynn actually took us round this area. It's called La, La, La Linea. La, 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 La Linea. And we went to a, an a epic bar. It was called the Jesus Bar and everything in it was Jesus. All the ceiling, all the walls, all around the bar. There were pictures and images of Jesus. It was a bit mad, wasn't it? But the drinks were cheap. I think they made them from water, Heidi turned the water into wine, <laughs> yeah. that's why they were cheap. <laughs> yeah, but it was a brilliant place and it was so good being out with Phil and Lynn. Anyway, just a, a question, people keep asking what an air is, so I thought you'd... Oh, yeah, yeah, an air. Um, so an air is actually spelled A-I-R-E, um, and basically it's, it's kind of a, a lower version of a campsite. Um, generally the difference between an air and a campsite is a campsite will have showers and toilets, an air won't. So an air will have water, will have places to empty your water, empty your toilet, sometimes electric. They're generally very cheap and quite often free um, and they're quite popular in Europe and are fantastic facilities for motorhomes and camper vans. Yeah, so this one here, we came here because we needed to, to top up with water, didn't we, and empty yeah. our toilets. But there's no electric, so that's the thing. They're all a bit different, but this one, yeah, 15 euros, mm. and we've been able to do all that. I just want to do a quick little shout out to John Davis and Roland and Diane Halsall for becoming supporters of the channel via Patreon. Thank you so much. And also a huge shout out for all those that bought us a coffee this week. So thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, this is Tinto Verano. You brought it around, didn't you? It's I lovely. Did. It's, it's the found, last of it. Found it in Lidl. Yeah, yeah, Lidl's <laughs> over here. Mm. Yeah, so cheers. So tomorrow, we're going to be heading into Gibraltar and it's it's UK, isn't it? We have to take our passports. It's UK, so we'll go back to the UK tomorrow for a little bit of monkey business. <laughs> yeah, we're only going in the morning, but it's still, it's yeah. the novelty of it. It's going to be a right laugh, isn't it? It is, yeah. Right, so we're going to leave the video here. You can watch that next week. So if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already absolutely free but before i go just a massive shout out to my patrons so that's it guys please take care stay safe and i'll see you next week bye yeah. Yeah.